Are you ready for the nonsense? I want to introduce our new uh, social media director, which is going to make our one buddy, Malik's Dunn, uh, jealous. Muddy Waters. She's gonna be our social media director. Yeah, I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her clips, and she's gonna post it on her IG. You can just do that. Why don't she just do that? Because <laughs> I'm too Cause fucking lazy. Because I'm too goddamn lazy. Me. Well, doesn't your software like make clip? It does generate it automatically. I'm just too That's lazy to cool. post them. Nah, I don't blame you there at all. All right, boys, we are back after a quick little piss and refuel breaky yes and um so this is episode four whatever the hell this is i still smell like an orange popsicle no this is you only do our, after this is our fourth one or our third one our third this is only our no third idea, one all right yeah th- all right, all right th- episode th- or episode three part two i still smell like an orange popsicle and you look like it all <laughs> over that track suit my boy he looks like Mo, over here. He looks like Moo Dang, dude. Moo Dang? You know who Moo Dang that. is, right? No. I know. I, the little, I know. Hippo, I, little baby I, hippopotamus is all over social media. Produ- producer Chris, I didn't Google Moo. Google what is Moo, it? Moo Moo what's Dang? It? Moo, Moo Dang, dude. M-O-O-D-E-N-G. I'm not a yeah, social media influencer. Yeah, yeah, you? Dude, Keith, you live on Instagram. How do you not know who Moo Dang is? I do not live on Instagram. I thought Bro, you were I get about more to come meme- out the woodwork. I get more memes sent to me from Keith than by everybody else combined, dude. That's a lot. It's not. It's Keith, I'm in seven different groups with up. you. I need Moo to see dang. the proof. Uh, yeah, Chris, I don't, I, I don't know this. Dang. Chris, M-O-O-D-E-N-G. Two words, Moodang. D-E-N-G. All right. I've never heard of this. I, dude, yeah, baby I haven't hippo, either. Bro. I this don't better know. not be I some weird this. porn thing. Moo Moo Dang. Yeah, what it? Is, is this, this like it? three what girls, is... two cups? It's Moo Dang, dude. What the fuck is that? What is the... that? What? It's the I baby hippo. Hit... What the what? hell is that? What the hell is that? It's a baby you watch? Bro, it's the baby hippo that's everybody's like posting memes about it, dude, like every day. I, uh, I've, I've not, never heard of this. It's not on my Instagram. I don't know this. Moo. Oh. Okay. Moo Dang, Chris, dude. Chris, can we, can we see some memes or what, like what? Like what? What made Moo Dang popular? Is there is there a uh, a video that is the impetus for Moo Dang? Mm. I don't uh, know what impetus what? means. Is it like Icarus? Icarus. Look, Olive and Garden Breadstick, me, dude. No. What kind of algorithm do you have, dude? It's Moo Dang. Dude, that's, <laughs> hold on. Go back, go back to the last one, Chris. That was fucking Keith, uh, truly, just a second ago. Hold on, go back. Go back. To what? Yeah. He <laughs> just literally <laughs> boo-dang, dude. That's the fucking pants, dude. And that's your wiener. So ridiculous, dude. Wait, it's a big hippo or a it's baby a baby hippo, hippo dude. I, Why are you watching a baby hippo? Because he's stolen yeah. the hearts of everyone worldwide, dude. I don't know if I believe that. I shall <laughs> if it's a boy or girl, but Moo Dang, dude. Moo all Dang. Right, all right. Now I just learned now a new a meme. Culture, dude. I, what, I can't yes, believe you guys it, haven't yeah. seen any of the memes on this. I have no, I no. I I My feed doesn't weird animal babies, dude. Yeah. My uh, my IG feed is like uh, oh, we know. Keith. Well, ooh, ooh. well, th- we have a. I'm not gonna name his names, but he sends some weird stuff in our one uh, chat. I don't and know it, why you guys so scared. Why are we scared to talk people's names? Like, oh, fine, fine, George. I mean, George no sends the. He said George sends the weirdest. Fuck, like he'll. What was the one he sent the other day of like the breastfeeding? Oh, shit that was what? fucking Christy. Muddy sent us a breastfeed one. Like, literally. Was, uh, oh, yes, that was Muddy. I mean, but that, that would be something. Breast, you know, that dude? would be something George would send, though. It was a big flapjack titty, too. I don't know why she sent it. I was like, why, why are you yeah. sending us this? Was yes. that the orangutan titty? I mean, I'll send it to you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. He got that thing on a lot. 
I don't know. I saw yeah, how you guys don't know. All right. Nope. I think we should do the segment that I've been most excited about where we he, rate. He is, he is bricked about the accents. Dude, I think it, this is very interesting. I'm ready for Chris to pull up all the different accents. And all right. Uh, well, all right. Well, we, could, we could just go one at a time. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, with, so well, well, what accent do you want to start country? with first? Like a United well, States? Yeah, and well, you know, there's like I mean, four you know, we can we can start we can start in the U.S. So it's like all right, there's Southern, there's New York, there's Boston. Midwest has a distinctive accent. California West Coast has a distinctive no. accent. Oh, no accent so, in California. Yeah, they do. Uh, so yeah, according to Google, there's a Lu- there's a distinct accent in Louisiana. Yeah, so it says that there's distinct accents in Boston, of course, California, uh-huh. Midwest, which is yes. Yes. broke ass. There's accent. zero accent in Midwest, Southern. bro. <laughs> Southern yes, accent, is. unless you count Minnesota. Pacific Northwest, no accent. Uh-huh. Out there. New England, yes, that's a Boston accent. Asian, which that Asian. shit. I don't yeah. even know. All I can think of is the Water Boy. Uh, uh, South, and then. Appalachian. <laughs> that's that like, yeah. uh, that's Appalachian. Uh, that's like that's Chris Hansen. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. West, Vir- West, yeah. West Virginia. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let's maybe start with a Boston accent. What do you think? What do you, What is y'all's opinion? While Chris pulls up a, a example, uh, what is y'all's best Boston accent, or what you oh, think well, Boston accent? Is? Uh, uh, what are my best example? I mean. I'm gonna well, go yeah. park that park the car at Harvard Yard. I'm a fucking asshole. Like, and I take a wicked pizza. So fucking cool. That's actually I not fucking, bad. Dude. <laughs> I fucking hate that accent so much, bro. All right, Gio. That was your best shot. Boston accent. Yeah, Boston accent. Why know, you whisper it? Wicked smart, dude. The wicked smart. Wicked, wicked smart. Hey, he, he, Chris, we should just have Chris play a cut uh, from uh, um, the party. Uh, the Departed, the Departed oh, or um, uh, the other one with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, yeah, where he's Goodwill a janitor. Hunter. Goodwill, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, like Apple. that's all I can think of. He's so wicked smart. Smart. Like, it's not. It's not your fault. Yeah, or like Family Guy. Oh yeah. All right, let's see this clip. What do we got here? It's Boston accents, thank I believe. You. I appreciate it. Okay, so rapid fire. Don't mm-hmm. even think about it. Carter. Tava. Piper. Piper. Harper. Hoffa. Muffler. <laughs> Muffler. Garden. Got it. The Boston accent happens when the vowel A is followed by a consonant R. Hello. And it has grammar. to be A, not. What was know, it? A. What? That's so bad. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh, God. It's the same in New York, though. New York yeah, accent is the same thing through the R's. Did. There's no and R's yet, in yeah, they de- yeah they definitely cut the R's off in the New Hold York on. accent. I think you know what I think of immediately when I think of Boston accent is that shit from Ted, where he's like doing the rapid fire of the girls' names, dude. Oh hey, yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. That's a that's actually a really hey, good movie. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a good movie actually. That's a good movie, dude. Yeah, that's exactly what I think of. All right, well, let's move on to a New York accent. Hold then. on, you got to do your Boston accent now. Oh, I've been yeah, doing dude. it. Oh, huh. All right. Yeah, so, have you really not heard me doing it? You didn't do uh, one. Uh, 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 let's hear so it. The wicked smart. You can't you didn't say what I Tammy Lynn, Carrie Lynn. <laughs> it is so good, dude. I want a beer and a lager. Uh, a beer? What? <laughs> I want a beer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want a burger and a lager down at the car. I got to go to the car, get in my car, and go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Wow. What is their obsession with Dunkin' Donuts? I, know. Oh, I didn't even know that was like a dude. I love Dunkin', bro. I go there what all the time. What is Moodang, dude? You are oh, Moodang, oh, dude. Yeah. But well, now we gotta hear yeah. Chris's Boston accent. I don't think Chris can. What? Do your Boston accent. Oh, oh, we got a New York. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, let's hear Chris's Boston Wait, accent. Wait, hold on. Before we hear it, I wanna hear y'all's before we get the actual footage. What is y'all's New York accent? Hold on, we gotta wait on Chris, too. No, bro, go ahead. Get Fucking Chris walking scared. here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, was that <laughs> that was wait, good? Was that, that was a good one. Was that Boston go, or New go. York? I feel like it's just a lot of cussing. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much the basis of it. All right, you ready? Sure. Yeah, yeah let's hear it. What? 
Water. Jorg. Jorg. Yeah. Coffee. 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 Forget about it. Forget Perfect. about it. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, Perfect. Yeah. What's that? Cal- calamari, like the squid. Calamari. You mean calamari? <laughs> calamari. Yeah, I mean, he's a calamari. That's... All right. Talking without hands. What do you mean? Talking without hands. Hey, talking without hands. You want more? Right, P- nah. P. P. Let's hear your New York accent. Dude, I just want to do I'm fucking walking here. I got to think of something better. Uh, I'm going to go kick the Yankee game. I What's don't know. That's about as good as I can fucking do, dude. <laughs> I just want to do I'm fucking walking here. That's yeah. all I can think of, dude. But I feel like there's also like a New Jersey accent, but what y'all's New York accent? It's the same shit. All right. It, I mean, well, there is. I, I, I mean, it is the same, but no I mean, I guess there of. could be like, like different. Like it, it could be a uh, slightly different. I mean, well, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. like you can go Your huh? New York accent, then, Keith. My New York accent? I don't know. I don't know. Throw it to us, baby. Come on. Hi, my name is Queef. That, that is pretty spot on. You're. That you make you <laughs> I was trying to talk like my cousins when I go up there to visit them. Like, who are you fucking talking to? That's pretty good, dude. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you just got to cuss a lot. What the What the fuck is your fucking problem, bro? Yeah. You went straight to Soprano, dude. <laughs> That's how my family talks to each other. Who are you fucking talking to? Get my boy Monkey Mark over here. My boy Marky yeah, Mark. That's I definitely possible, dude. Yeah, let me get ex- let me get some good it's vibrations. Just, dude, that's over from here. like Rhode Island though, dude. Rhode yeah. Island has a rough fucking accent. Of that yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. All right, let's. Uh, what's y'all's best? Well, I mean, we're in the South. I mean, I can just talk normal for my Southern accent. But what's y'all's best <laughs> Southern accent? None of us have Southern accents, though. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't point. think any. I don't well, think anybody in Atlanta has a Southern accent unless they came from fucking Macon or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Why does he have like, Macon? Fucking hating on Macon, bro. Know. I'm just saying they have accents. South Georgia has accents, but Appalachian. Hi, hi. My name is Queef, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm on a piggy farm. <laughs> what was it? Just say y'all every other word. That's what I was gonna say. Bless your heart. Y'all, y'all come back now. Y'all Bless come back heart. now. You're here. Hi, right, Gia. What's your? Uh. Just start singing your boy Garth. Do what? Just I'm start Garth. singing your boy, dude. <laughs> Garth. Garth Brooks, get it right. Dude. You got that Garth. <laughs> Southern accent. So they kind of talk like that, you know, like nice and slow. Mm-hmm. Y'all boy like Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a West, that's West Virginia accent. That West Virginia, you baby. get on there all nice and thick and light. Oh, y'all boys gonna go to that honky tonk. Nice and thick and like. Oh. You know who else has a, you know, what other state has an accent? Kentucky. Kentucky. I'm going to get a yeah. Sprite. I'm going to Sprite. <laughs> I'm going to get a Sprite. I'll never forget yeah. that shit, dude. Yeah, Sprite. Yeah, yeah. Look I know. I was like, man, I, know. I didn't a go to Sprite. Alabama, but my daddy did. did. Oh, my yeah. da- <laughs> uh, oh, the man. Yeah, what, what was that bitch's husband's name? Leroy or some shit, right? I have no idea. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, whatever, Keith. I uh, I don't think we necessarily need an example since we're from the South, but a Midwestern accent, I feel like is going to be kind of hard because is that, is that considered like uh Wisconsin? Like well, Wisconsin like, and Minnesota Wisconsin. have accent. Is that Midwestern? Yeah. Is that considered Midwestern? Well, listen, that's wrong. So listen, Wisconsin and Minnesota have distinct accents, but like Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, do not Pennsylvania, unless you're like Dutch. I, well, the only thing I would I say know. is you may not have as much of a different accent, but y'all definitely call shit differently. Oh, like, yeah. We, I, that's pop like that's, that's, and stuff Yeah, like different that, words. Yeah. yeah, but that's not. Yeah, but, but I, mean, I agree. But it, if you divide Pennsylvania and, like, you know, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and all that, like, they, Pittsburgh, my, to me, is the Midwest. That's, you no. Know? No, it is. I mean, it's, cl- it's closer to Ohio than it is to. Pennsylvania is the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. For sure. What? So then what would be classified as like that? 
Wisconsin and all that, like Minnesota, all that kind of shit up there. I wonder what that. Well, Minnesota, they got that like Minnesota. They talk. Yeah, that's true. Minnesota. I I think of like. um, Oh, here we go. All right, let's hear it. You gals hear about Allie Gallagher? She let Alan act smacker in the back with his tail whacker behind the snack stack. What? Dude, you know what that? Dude, you know that accent. That accent reminds me of Alex's mom. Well, you got to remember, though, it's coming from family guys, so it's not like 100% oh, accurate. That's pretty yeah, funny. Accurate, funny. That, dude. It's that's, still funny. That's pretty smart. Yeah. You know, Alex, Alex actually... I, you better not let Alex, Alex hear you talking about his mom, dude. I'm not talking shit. Well, I'm just saying he has a Minnesota. very distinct act, a Minnesota accent. Minnesota. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Don't you know? Don't yeah, actually, you know. when I think of, I think of <laughs> like... I think of uh, yeah, what's your know, face? Don't uh, you know? uh, 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 the actress in Fargo. What, what's her that her name? Oh yeah, I know. Dude, Fargo is the the number one thing I think of when I think of that. I don't know her. What's name. that? What's that? What's that actress's name? I know she's in Burn After Reading and some other fucking yeah. movies. Norma Francis. Yeah. Uh, Francis McDormand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, it's definitely not normal. Would have never got that. Francis Ford Coppola, is that what you said? Yeah, old Frankie Cope. Minnesota. So, no, but yeah, I mean, that's like movie wise, that's what I immediately would go to. Oh, 100%. And then Wisconsin, it's like a lot more high pitch. It's like Wisconsin. Yeah, um, we have um, we have a m- mutual friend who's from Madison or whatever, and it is like, it is a very, it is it's very really distinct. Nasally. So it's even yeah, nasally, and so so is Chicago too. It's Who the like fuck is from Madison. Or sorry, not Madison. Um, um, Green Bay. Who do we know from Wisconsin? Oh, maybe I do. Sorry, I thought we got a mutual friend. Oh, maybe that's just me. I know them. He thought about him and Chris, bro. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. The gummy. I don't know anyone bro. from Wisconsin. Huh? The gun. Sorry, the gum. My got my apologies. The <laughs> gummy's hidden. Nah, dude. But yeah, the Wisconsin. Oh. See if you can find an example of that, Chris, if you can. And that's very high pitched. All right, here we go. Oh, hey there, folks. Today we're gonna talk about my Wisconsin accent, eh? But first, I gotta get inside. Sounds like Canada, dude. Yeah, it sounds like a Canadian accent. He's in my pooper off, dude. Take my pooper off. off. Like I, so when I think of Wisconsin, I think either that accent, and I also think of basically like fucking fried cheese curds. That's basically what I think of Wisconsin because I've never think, been there. I know, have you, any, no has anybody in this podcast been to Wisconsin? No, I have no desire to go there. That's no way desire. too cold Actually, for me. You know what? I'd, I'd go. I'd go to I'd Green go, Bay. Well, I would love to go to a game in Lambo. Green Bay. You hear him? Green Bay? Yeah. <laughs> He's already picking up the accent. Oh, dude. Yeah. What? Is, what? Yeah. He's about to get him a nice little Wisconsin Chris, did you girl, hear it? Dude. Yeah, he fucking loves it. Yeah, Green Bay. I'd love to go to Green Bay. Oh fuck off! Don't you know? Yeah. No, I would. I would go to that, but that's about the only thing I'd go to in Wisconsin. Yeah, that, I have no desire to go there. Outside of like, I love that '70s show, and obviously it's in Wisconsin. There's nothing outside yeah. of desire to go. Same there with for. Minnesota. That state sucks too. So, oh fuck that! Yeah, yeah, Minnesota sucks, Malix. Yeah, their football team sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All the, right. So the what? Twi- uh, the Twins sucks. Yeah. And and Curtin Cousins blows. Hey, that's your team now, dude. Not my team. You're a Falcons fan. I like the Falcons. I wouldn't. Say, they're not my team. Better than the Giants, dude. It's hard to be a fan of the Falcons, oh, wow. Brett. Yes, it is actually. Yes, they it just is. Break your heart. All right. So what about uh, Cajun? And what? Or Cajun accent? I said Asian. Oh. I was like, you racist? Yes, Asian. Asian. Yes. That is exactly what it yes. is. Yes. There's only one Cajun. Dude, no, there's only one Cajun accent that's good. Chris, pull up a uh, video of Gambit in the Deadpool Wolverine movie. Oh, who's your oh, uh, who's your dialect coach? The Minions. <laughs> I came out my mama's. Yeah, what, 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 came out my came out my daddy's penis or whatever he yeah. said. My daddy's guns. <laughs> oh my god! What movie got up all up in them gut? I wish I I would have I, I definitely want to mimic it. We all have to mimic these accents, by the way. What I don't you? know if I 
I don't know if I Chris can Martin. do it. What movie? Oh, Wolver- Deadpool and Wolverine. Just put Gambit and Deadpool Wolverine. You haven't seen it yet? You, uh, you had it? No, really. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Hey, this is the same guy who cut his fucking bone marrow for $500 fucking dollars. True. True. You should have watched Forrest Gump while you were Still getting fucking Gump, drilled right? into <laughs> Not the only thing you got drilled into for 500 bucks, probably. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks back in college, dude. <laughs> you should, you should dude, $500 yeah. oh, will yeah. change your life when you're 18 years old, yeah. bro. Yeah, exactly. I wish that's I had a, that. That's a, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of drinking in a college town. That's fucking all four years, dude. <laughs> Goddamn, Chris. Taking you long enough? Yeah, I, I don't... No, but it, no, what is that? Is that <laughs> <laughs> you brought a sling, sling blade, blade, dude. Yeah. Although this is a good, this is good. Play it, play it. This is not sling blade, buddy. <laughs> it ain't got no gas in it. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? What, what is it, it's dude? Together, right? It's just all good. It ain't got no gas in it. I ain't got no gas in it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Why? Why did it have sling blade for? I don't know. Look at Patrick's face. <laughs> the cat. What? what is this? Dude? Oh, there we go. All right. We got to- Coach Odin. Coach, Coach o. O. the best, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, I love that. honestly. I think Patrick just had a stroke. I can't. Then Branchwaters be hidden. Dude, an all dead blade. Sling blade. That's fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My God, Chris, you having Jesus. trouble over there? Dude? What? You having trouble trying to find it? Is that not the is that not what you want? No, <laughs> that was verbatim what we wanted. Actually, so type in like Gambit. Type in Channing Tatum and Gambit or something. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I I don't think anybody on this podcast can do a Cajun accent. No, you got to do it. You 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 do it right now. I mean, if I hear it, if I hear it, I'll try to repeat it. But I can't. No, we all are gonna. Have I can't to. do it off the fucking cuff. You right got to do it off the rip, yeah. baby. No, absolutely not. That shit is All too right. funny, dude. Oh, God <laughs> almighty. Yeah, I know. I can't. I can't. That was, that was perfect. That was phenomenal. All right. This scene. Sure. Sure. They call me the gunman. Do that. Are you sure you didn't just really, really want them to, but it never quite worked out? Yeah. I'm tight. What just said slurp when he was out of What the fuck is this, dude? I don't think this... <laughs> this, this scene doesn't exist. It, it well, exists. it's also a new movie, so we probably yeah. should you know, we'll get pulled off of yeah. YouTube. It's uh, a, that's too oh funny, God. dude. We'll have uh, this movie from, from movie, The Water movie, Boy. Moving on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Google The Water Boy with the... Uh, the, best, the best one of these, like, he's like, ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. That. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Ooh I'm, about to make, ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. I'm not good at it at all. I'm not going to be able to do it, dude. I'm trying to find the balls, the daddy's balls one. Yeah, it was like he shot out his daddy balls or something all up in them gut. And he was like, he's, you must have been a real fan. Yeah. That shit is too funny, dude. Oh, all God. right, while Gio's trying to find that, let's try the uh, he California. He goes. I didn't know my daddy, but I'm sure I shot out of his dick ready. That's what he's saying. <laughs> shot out my daddy's nut. I didn't Jesus. know my daddy. I didn't know my daddy. daddy. I wish I could do the Cajun accent, but I just don't think I can. I there's yeah, there's honest there's no way I could even attempt it. I would yeah. yeah. Not a chance. What about your uh California accent? I think it's like a Valley Girl accent if I had to go. I don't even know what a California accent is. Oh, yeah, yeah hey, that's what oh, I'm saying. Hey. Oh, hey, dude, how's it going? Like, totally. 
I'm Johnny Utah, bro. That's not how he talks. Johnny talk, bro. Utah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, keep going, please. Yeah, uh, whisper, whisper in my yeah, ear, over here, big boy. Come on, huh? <laughs> he's over here fucking talking like Spicoli in Fast <laughs> Times, dude. Spicoli, duh, that, that's a reference. Chris, ain't no way Chris knows who that is. No, <laughs> he just shakes his head. Like, no, no, yeah, yeah absolutely not. No. Pete, you've seen here, Fast, you've seen Fast Times at Ridgemont oh, High, right? Course, dude. I just watched it the other night. It's so good. Yeah. I haven't watched it in a long time, though. The only... Cool. Uh, he gets the pizza delivered to the classroom. It's really all I can remember. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. That's a... So, of the accents that we've heard, what if y'all had to rank them, what do you think is, like, the best to worst accent? Oh, I mean, not I think he's rendition. I think he, I think you guys know my number one least favorite. Least favorite is Boston for you. Yeah, of course. I those are favorite. No, because you oh, looked up with that guy oh. from Boston one time and broke his heart. Keith just wants to find him a good little Boston girl. Tammy Lynn. Oh, yeah. Carrie Lynn. Lynn. Does she have a Lynn on the end of her name? Carrie Lynn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Honestly, dude, I don't mind the Boston accent as much. I think if I had to rank it, though, I would say the worst accent. I don't know, man. The Creole accent is fucking rough. What's what? Like, it depends on how bad it is. Like, if yeah, yeah, they oh, start going Coach, Coach o o style, dude. Dude. Yeah, and that's no like way. honestly, man, that's like a foreign language to me. Yeah, so I think that would have to be like last on my list, dude. A hundred percent. It's like the it's like the one dude from the Water Boy. Like, that's how he. That's oh, dude, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, what about the dude from uh, Joe Dirt? Nah, 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 nah. It's uh, it's, it's like mumbling. Joe Dirt's like. Homo where you mate. You like to see homos naked. That's the best part of Joe Dirt. Oh, oh yeah, from Joe Dirt. Dirt. Homos where you make it. You know, I don't know why that guy yeah. wants to see homos naked. Man, you like to see homos naked. naked. All right, what are we watching here? Going down to the bar, you know, the shirt. Oh, no. Oh, mm-hmm. shit, baby. 504 Nola, we in the building. Why has he got a bear's hat on, though? I think he's making fun of it. Was it? Was that fucking English? <laughs> Dude, that's the problem. That shit's not English. Chris, find the seed from Joe Dirt if you can. It's Joe Dirt and just type in you like to see homos naked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on your laptop right now. It's on actually the number one laptop. That's the number one yeah. search history on Key's computer though. Homos, homos naked. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. That scene from Joe Dirt is so funny. <laughs> Perfect. I'll do this. Oh, one of my favorites, dude. Hey mister. You know the people that live here, Nunamaker? Hey, Mo. What's that? Hey, Mo. About 16 years ago. Hello, boy. You got now. <laughs> God damn, you out of date, boy. Yeah, man, that little boy, that's me. My parents were This is my home. I thought this was it this time. Home is where nah, you bike. Way, mate. You like to see homos naked? <laughs> <laughs> the way you make it. Yeah, you like to see homos naked. That's cool, man. Whatever. That's cool, man. No, 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 no. Home and where you make it. Home, where you make it. Oh. Everybody know that. Goddamn, boy. <laughs> Goddamn, like see homos naked. That don't help me. <laughs> That's such a oh, great yeah, movie. That, that is. That shit is perfect. But I am, uh, very content with that but what is so what is your least and uh favorite accent oh I mean, well my yeah mine's definitely boston i can't stand it um What's the accent that you love accent i love oh man what is the keith go one mm. i don't know man savannah southern belt like good abonics. oh yeah a good abonics accent. oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. Little... which one well, which... oh that's Keith's favorite oh, accent. Boo Boo Bonics, baby. What? The Bonics. E Bonics, yeah, okay. e, not oh, duh. E, e-, e- Bonics. No, I hooked on the hooked on the phonics. Dick phonics. <laughs> I don't know. I Dick phonics. I, I never saw those commercials as a kid. I didn't know that was a thing, dude. Home is where you make it. 
<laughs> I'm actually homo's name. Oh man. That's Jesus so Christ, funny, dude. Uh uh my favorite accent. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite one, to be honest with you. No, I don't think I do either, honestly. I do like there's some that are funnier to obviously make fun of, but I would probably say that since I live in the South, the South is the best accent. Yeah, yeah. Most would probably be Cajun, just because I have no idea what the fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. Honestly, like trying to understand, like a coach is like you need, you need a translator for that. Like I, I don't know who could, who could understand that unless you're natively from there and or around it. It's like in it, I, it really is. It's like another language. Well, it's not yeah, even like, at that point. It's not even an accent. It's a dialect. They have a whole different. Yeah, dialect. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it, yeah it really yeah. is. It's just like, uh, did you ever watch that show on HBO called uh, True Blood? Yeah. Like that, yeah. like in the first season, there was a guy that would talk to mm -hmm. never fucking knew what he said. Mm. Like he had oh, such yeah. a thick, uh, thick real Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I yeah. That was, a, that, was that was a really, <laughs> that was a really good show, by the way. It went yeah. off the rails after a while, but it was. Oh, dude, yeah, they all yeah. do. Once they start getting into like season, you know, past four or something, it usually gets really bad. Mm -hmm. Well, that yeah, was kind of like, which kind of, because I was a, big fan of uh true detective but more the, the first, first season was the first two first season was great second season was all right the third was trash second but season i don't I, I, dude. I this apparently this new one won like a it was, an it was, emmy it was, or whatever it was okay i i honestly couldn't get through the like two or three it was like i just gave up on it and it won awards, and I was like, I this it was just Which not. Which one had Vince Vaughn in second it? Second season. I heard that, that was, was the that second was the one. Dude, it no sense. Yeah, yeah, that was it. It, it had in, Vince um, Vaughn and Colin, Colin Farrell. Farrell. Yeah, which I was super excited about, but it it was not. It Maybe was not that good. I didn't watch the third one with the uh, what's his face, Mahershala Ali or whatever. That one actually wasn't bad. That oh, is. that's the third one, right? Yeah, I yeah, never yeah. watched any of them after the first yeah, one. Black Cherry, real quick. Give you that Black Cherry. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honest. I couldn't. Could. I could not get through the new one. It just was not very good. It wasn't. No. It wasn't terrible. But we. I watched the whole thing. Yeah, I just really liked the first one. And everybody was like, the rest of them are trash because yeah. I watched it way later from everybody else. And I was like, I really liked the first one a lot. I was like, I don't know if it's worth it to me. Yeah. Um, which this the Joe Dirt thing has got this shit stuck in my head. But uh, what. Uh, I don't, I, I think about this shit way too much, but what are y'all's favorite SNL skits? Like, of all time, if you had to pick the ones that come SNL up the top of your head, so I could go off, Man, I could go all tough. day. All right, just do your top five. Top five? I have to go Stephendales. Yeah. With Chris Farley. Yeah, that's, and yeah, that's definitely one. Chris Farley's, I think, are my top three. Yeah, I'd have to go with yeah. Cal Bell. Mm. Cal Bell is, Cal yeah. Fun. Hilarious. Isn't yeah, Cal Bell's Bell's funny, hilarious. but it's not. I, I think what makes it what's his name? The late night host is breaking. Um, and, uh, he breaks it down. That was yeah. so funny. Yeah. Um, the, there's a really the, funny one with Chris Farley and Adam Sandler and all them in a pool. It's oh, a, the hot tub thing. Yeah, you know, they're in a the pool. So uh, they get beer, like the pool's all dirty and they're trying to clean it. And they're like, and it's like Phil Hartman talking. He's like, uh, Chris pulled it up. It's called Schmidt's Gay. Yeah, yeah. Pull it. Yeah, pull that. That's and a really funny one. All of a sudden, all these like hunky dudes, like speedos, yeah. are dancing with them, dude. And fucking Chris probably's got these glasses on. He flips them up. He's like, "It's Ooh. so funny." It's good. It's so funny. Yeah, dude. it really is. That's I don't one. Think that's, I've seen that. One. Oh, this is my top five. I that one. Um, the Chris Farley one, like where he's doing the impersonation of oh. my dicka. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. This shit is fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, this is hilarious. This is the great house sitting deal that you found. This place is a dump. Just wait till you see the pool. No water? <laughs> oh, I've seen the meme with him looking through the glasses. Just wait, dude. Cause I wish I had that shirt. <laughs> they go, they go, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's gay. This is literally. This 
feel like that is a neuro link into Geo's mind right now. Yes, it really is. Like, that was honestly that was that was that was when this show was funny. Like it, it's such a oh, shame. Yeah, the nineties ones were my favorite because obviously a, my one of my favorites is uh, uh, Van Down by the River, dude. It's so yeah, good, yeah. dude. I think that's yeah. probably my first one. Chippendales is up there as well. I, yeah, Van Down by the River I'm putting in there. I'm not, so I have yeah. four. And honestly, dude, there's the one where they're at Disney World with fucking Debbie Downer. Dude, oh, I don't think that was yeah, that, I fucking I was being that one before, but she's like, not, she goes, it's official. I can't have children. And fucking Jimmy <laughs> Fallon is dying laughing, dude. That's, yeah. what, that's what makes it so funny. That, well, honestly, that those are the ones when lie. they break character. Yeah. yeah. It's got Lindsay Lohan and Jimmy Fallon. They can't keep, yeah, it. They yeah. can't keep it together at all, dude. Yeah, because there's also the one where they're in like a uh, a hot tub and no. Jimmy Fallon, he keeps apparently Will Ferrell. It's a Will Ferrell one, yeah. He keeps like yeah. playing footy with him underneath the water and he's like, I can't stop laughing. Yeah, <laughs> I think, dude, honestly, there's so many of the Farley ones uh, have you, do y'all remember the one with him and Spade and uh, they're all dressed up as women? They work at the Gap. And they work at the Gap? Yeah, and he's like, lay off me, yeah. I'm fucking... He's like... <laughs> they're like, like stop eating all the fries. He's like, I'm hungry. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, another, <laughs> there's another one I always remember. It's it's Jimmy Fallon. I think it's Will Ferrell. And Will Ferrell goes to answer his cell phone and it's like this fuck. He opens it up like this. He goes, Hello? And Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> dying laughing the whole time. Yeah. It was like the tiniest little cell phone. That's awesome. They work at like fucking Express or some one of those. Yeah. I, I always like the uh, Chris Farley too as the uh, lunch lady. That shit's always fucking good. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. That was a really yeah. good get. Dude, those are the what? funny ones from like the 90s. Dude. I can't really think of one from the 80s as much. All the, um, the Eddie Boy, Murphy ones were funny. He had the, the spinoff on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Um, oh, that one's pretty uh, funny. And then, Where he's in like the ghetto or whatever. Poor shit. Yeah, yeah. The newer ones, the one that the ones that always remind me that I think are like super funny are the ones where they break. Oh, yeah, like dude. the one with uh, Ryan Gosling. Uh, where, aliens? Yeah, aliens? yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, yeah. The well, the um, like because I'll be honest, I don't watch really any of the new ones at all. But the the one that we all talked about the like the Shane Gillis oh, one dude. like the Liberty lit that shit was fucking funny dude I one of my favorite ones is with Shane Gillis is the one where he's in Jamaica in church yeah that <laughs> yeah, shit yeah he's like, yeah from, 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 oh, oh, yo, oh, yo, yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> the former linebacker from oh yo. yeah. <laughs> so and then uh Chris, you got to pull that one up. The Shea Gillis and uh, yeah, but, yeah, Jamaica. please. But you'd have to fast. Yeah, you already, dude, you already had it, bro. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, oh my yes, God. Dude, well, this one's funny. This one's good too. Yeah. It's just this it's what we're really talking about. about. Yeah, yeah. Church while we're on vacation. Yeah, can't we skip one Sunday? Hey, we're Catholics, okay? I don't care where we are on Sundays. We go to church. What did we do on Sunday when we visited Ireland? We went to church. Bingo. Why would Jamaica be any different? Bingo. All right, welcome, brothers and sisters. <laughs> welcome, Let's brothers and sisters. It is so good. We're going a home-going service for Sister Charlene. Yeah. God rest her soul. See, so guys, church is church, no matter where you are in the world. Why are you making us dress up when Father Lawrence is in fucking Reebok class? He said, on daddy blood. No. On daddy blood, he said, on daddy blood. Jesus, you don't cover me. On daddy blood. Hold on, Chris. You gotta fast forward this though. Go like maybe halfway when he starts fucking doing the accent. All right, all right. Listen up now, year. I'm gonna hurry up and deliver the word. See, because me cook up a very nice curry goat and a rice and a pea. Me have to get back to it quick before it's stale up. So me don't want no stale rice and peas. If you hear me, Una, you say amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. Honey, you don't even know what he's talking about. Hush now, child. Me trying to hear the good words. <laughs> so good. What was that? So good. No, let me work. <laughs> let me worship. Man. Yeah, dude, that's so good. Yeah. yeah. There's, that's like probably the ones that Shane Gillis are the only ones. I know. Oh, yo. Oh, 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 oh. That's great. So good, dude. But yeah, I can't think of any of the newer ones. Ryan Gosling one is like really funny, I think, but they're all super long. I feel like the ones from like the nineties were definitely like a lot shorter. 
Yeah, shorter and just like, I mean, the co- well, and the comedy is so much different now. It's um, outside of, uh, I guess you could say, a couple renegades. Um, it's just, it, it's totally different than the stuff that we grew up as, yeah. as kids. It all depends and on the writers. Nice. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's uh, that. It, Nobody wants to be canceled I, anymore. Yeah, exactly. And to be honest, sure, it like, is like you, it, you hear you hear so many comedians yeah, talk about it like one day. Yeah, and it, like you know, what I mean, if you're if, if you're he's, doing comedy, he's, he's then too. yeah, he was doing a podcast, like one of his early podcasts, kind of like what we're doing, just like talking shit. And apparently, yeah. he did an Asian accent. And yeah, they, yeah, that's oh yeah. that he tried to do it. Like he got fired because yeah. of that. That's fucking wild. Yeah, yeah, like, I know. Comedy, Which dude. is it's it's. Joke. it's Honest, it really is. Is like, and if you can't like, if you can't laugh at yourself or what, I, like, I don't know, man. It's like some people are just they're way too oversensitive and no, looking 100%. for a fight. I uh, not to get too. I, don't, I mean, I guess I mean we can get serious on this podcast from time to time, but yeah, I mean, you did on that first one. So, Gio did on that first one. Gio, <laughs> He's doing that Gio, whole handle. Yeah. We did, yeah. Well, we didn't even use that last we about, hour. We about lost a brother in arms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that boy was snuggled up with himself at dinner. Yep. Don't drink a bottle of scotch. Yeah, I learned my lesson on that first one. Yes, Gio yes, started you did. getting fucking uh, into the deep deepness of space in yeah. here. Yes, yes, that was a fun time. I'm just over here trying to figure out why they got this racist pot over here on the. Racist pot. What the hell are you talking about? You tell me that racist. What color? I don't even. Color I don't is that even pot? know what. I don't even know what that is. What <laughs> pot? It's a gallon as well. <laughs> I don't know. It's some fucking brown pot with a, a cigar jug. in his mouth. Pick I don't know what the jug, hell it is. Dude. Oh Jesus Christ! That's fucking wild. But yeah, dude, that first podcast, we thought we lost you, dude. You fell asleep in your shrimp. I lost, I lost three days of my life after yes. that podcast. <laughs> I know yeah. you did. I got to take a pee break. Damn, already? That, that IBS kicking in, dude. Mm. We, we usually do. Hopefully, Keith can get out of there without the <laughs> smell of like a fucking orange sickle, he, dude. Keith's code word for taking a dump is piss, so he's going to be there for a while. He's just not going to come back. I love how the uh, camera of him showed him going into the bathroom. <laughs> What's that? Uh, <laughs> do what? <laughs> There's no denying, bro. That man is taking a little poo poo to chew, baby. <laughs> that shit is too fucking funny. Chris, Chris knows a lot more than we do. Dude, that, man be, sh- that man be shitting. <laughs> That man be shitting. I still, earlier when he spilled that fucking drink, I don't think I've laughed so hard in my life. Like, he just he sat just there. held he just, it, dude. Like, and it's just overflowing on his lap. Chris, I, w- just like, I wish like, the camera would have been two inches lower because you would have seen it. Just a whole, dude, it's just I overflowing. Could, and he just holds it, looks around at us. Like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? I could hear dude? it. Oh, I could dude, hear it, but I couldn't see it. anything. I, I know because it was like, it was. It was like two inches high or too high. You know what it looked like is like those old like school fairs where they would do like the volcano with like the fucking what is it vinegar and and like bacon soda, dude. It was just exploding, and he was just holding it by fucking (laughs) crying. Oh, queef, dude. Dude, it was awesome. But no, nah, man, I do miss those fucking SNL days, man. I feel like I could watch a lot of those 90 one, 90s ones over well, and over again. I have all but... the, um, I used to buy all of them on DVDs, like the best of. I have, like, yeah. I have Will Ferrell, I have Adam Sandler, Chris Farley, I have all those. I used yeah, to the love... Will Ferrell ones, he does have a lot of good ones. The Cowbell one is funny. I just, I don't know, man, I feel like I've watched it a couple times, and I feel like the only reason it's so funny is because of Homeboy. Hey, everything come out okay, buddy? Oh, yeah. You gotta leave the uh, bathroom door open, key so I can see that mirror. <laughs> yeah. Man, do we get closer yeah. now? <laughs> Shit! Ah, uh, you know, I grew, yeah. I grew, I grew up in a pigsty. Spray something? He didn't what? spray that poopery. What? That poo poo baby. I used it all. Did you use that dude wipe. How about uh, one of the ones I wrote down. I brought any of my topics up. 
I like this one. Which one? Three movie characters, or it could be uh, just one, two, whatever. Okay. That you would like to party with. Oh, that's a good oh, question. Oh, yeah, like that. that is a good question. So not a real person, like not a real person, but a mo- like the part they played. It could be re- obviously a real person, but the actual movie character that you think would be cool to party with. Like in real life. Yeah. If that person was a real. So honestly, dude, I think, and it's mostly just because I actually really like Vince Vaughn, but I would want to party with Vince Vaughn Wedding Crashers. Oh, yeah. Like that yeah. would definitely be up there, I think. Um there's a bunch of people that run through my head, like Alan from The Hangover, but I feel like it probably wouldn't end well. But at least you'd get a story behind it because you're definitely getting roofing. I would, you know, I would like to go to the casino with Dustin Hoffman from <laughs> Rain Man. Oh I didn't say God. go to the party I with. Right? with. I said you'll hang out at the casino with, so you can count your cards for you. You fuck. Yeah, because I can't count. I know, no, in Geo, he's going to say somebody like, what's, what's the guy's name from Wall Street? Something Gecko? No, I actually, I thought about uh, in um, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. on my yeah. list. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's Jordan a maniac. Melbourne, dude. But see, yeah. it's yeah. like, yeah. Jordan you don't want to yeah. so Obviously, he's a real person, but I want to party with the Leonardo Leo. DiCaprio version of him. I bet you do. You love I that Leo. I bet you do. Yeah, I bet you Leo. You ain't young enough for Leo. <laughs> If you're older than 25, 26 is the cut or 26. Off, yeah. But no, he'd, be, def- he'd definitely like, be one. Um, yeah. Would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like I said, even even the, the movie character, because like the fact that all that shit was real, but that would be wild. Oh, that light. Yeah. I honestly, if I live that life that he did for that 10, I'd honestly, I'd probably be dead. Oh, we all would. Yeah. Be. Um, and also, uh, Stifler. Stifler would be a good party, uh, party. Yeah, pal. I don't Stifler. Know, kind of a dick. <laughs> well, not. I, like, you see, know, aren't you just Stifler in real life, dude? I'll take that. <laughs> hey, can you, can you, uh, claw me? Yeah, baby. I, yeah, honest, I, I kind of feel like Stifler was the person that was just like along for the ride. Oh, dude, dude just want to party, dude. Mom. It was his house. They partied in the second one. Gotta have Stifler around. Does he, he have was, the lake house? In the yeah, it was his lake yeah. house. No, that Jeez. wasn't it. They rented that. It was his parents' lake house. They, I swear, it was his parents. What am I thinking? I don't think it oh, was. I don't house. think it was his parents' house. I thought it was. Went, went, no, his parents had a lake house in the first one. They went to. After, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, 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 him, yeah. That's why his mom was. There. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That's why Finch banged his mom. What's the one? I know why Gio wants to party with Stifler because when they go to that gay bar, Hell yeah. and it, that's, dude, that's the funniest meet. I love that. When one. it shows him on the dance yeah. floor or whatever. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, man, I can't think of too many other people, hey. movie people to party with though. Like, uh, like a lot of people run through my head, but I feel like it wouldn't be actually that good of a time. Because like, part of me would be like, dude, part uh, Project X. Came yeah. out when I was in high the school, from Project and that would be or just being crazy. at that party would be. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, I assume if I'm partying with the people from that movie, that we're gonna be in that setting yeah. as well. Yeah, I just know I can see Geo on top of that roof, like he is at the end, flicking out. Suck my dick. There, everybody. Yeah, that's was my trying tell, to do dude. Shit like my that. tell. Yeah. Dude, I still can't yeah. believe Miles Teller is the fucking uh, guy in that. He played himself. Basically, they're like, That's basically, Miles yeah. They yeah, call up, yeah. They call like my tell, dude. Yeah. What's my tell, bro? Hey, we're on a party later. You want to come through? <gasps> and he shows up. Trying to, trying to think of people out. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I think we, yeah, we caught definitely Jordan Belfort. I'm trying to think of like just. Because I feel like it would have to be from like comedy movies and yeah. shit. Like, there's nobody I would think of that's not. Yeah, I would take Ace Ventura to a party. Like, I would party with him. Yeah, out. that like, that would be that would be fun. Yeah, that would be yeah. That would be fun. Or we could even change it. Like, who? Oh, I, I, hey, you party know what? You just say movie characters you'd want to hang out with, or even yeah. you know what I mean. Same thing. You know what? Uh, you know what would be fun? Um. I, well, because, and this came to my head, but, because Patrick's never seen this movie, but Van Wilder. That's, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Actually, I never watched it. You know that shit is apparently from, like, Burt Kreischer's life or whatever? Have y'all seen that? Yeah, where he came out with a Rolling Stone article about the number one party animal in the country. And then he they made that movie from it. And he tried to, like, get paid for it, but he signed it away. I like heard a dumbass that, in yeah. high school. Or in college. Oh. I did. In, no, was, I was. Yeah. Dan Valder was in college for, like, seven years. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. He was in college yeah. for eight years. Yeah. yeah. See, sometimes because, I wonder if this shit, like, the ant, or the, um, not the animal, the fucking, what's the one he, the movie he just did? The Machine. Oh, The Machine. Like, is any, you oh, think any honestly, that's it a did, true story, dude. Well, so, not the it movie. Is, not the, not the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happened, the the movie was not that funny well, to me. It was way too over the top. No, I yeah. can believe it. The only reason why I say I believe it, because, like, dude, I have had some wild fucking stories from being out of the country, yeah. and, like, I would have never thought that shit would have actually happened. I, I mean, mean when I got real. fucking kidnapped in India, I didn't think that shit was actually happening, except whoa, it was happening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, hold the phone. You got kidnapped in India? I told you this story, I don't bro. think I've heard the story either, buddy. That really not tell you this? Keith, have you heard the story? I'm... Yeah, the ones... if, you di- if you did, I don't remember it. The one got sold under the gay sex ring. I no, that was, the, that was the other, is other time. That was the other is one. It, yeah, is yeah, this yeah. the time you hung out with Amitabh on the train? No, that was when I got rescued by SEAL Team 6. Yeah, it was that time. <laughs> no, dude, I uh, it, 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 honestly, that story is really not even that wild compared to some other stories. But uh, when I went to India in fucking May, we went out to these bars and were partying until like three o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning. Well, mm-hmm. I had a excursion that I was going by myself to go to the Taj Mahal, mm-hmm. which that shit is not close to Delhi. First off, that shit is far as fuck. And, uh, I went down there. I think we got back at like two or three and I had to be downstairs at four. And I had, I realized once I got down there that what I booked it through, I never got like a confirmation or anything, but I was so fucking tired and hug over that. I was just like sitting down there and it was just me and the guy at the front. He goes, uh, sir, is this your taxi? And I was like, I guess you got to a random car. dude. Oh my God. God, and, you're a brave, you're a brave soul, Grizz. And uh, so, I mean, dude, the guy looked trustworthy. Okay, so he walked up and he was like, "Hello, sir. Thank you, sir." And I was like, uh, "Yeah, I'm going to the Taj Mahal." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But then I got in the car, not thinking about it. The whole time, the guy's like, "You want beer? You want snacks?" He had a fucking like, it was a nice taxi. And he had like all this beer and shit kept wanting me to drink. I'm like, it is four o'clock in the morning. I'm not fucking drinking. So I fell asleep and then we're going down the road and like an hour into it, my WhatsApp starts fucking ringing like crazy. And once my WhatsApp is ringing like crazy, I see the the people from the thing are calling me and they're like, Hey, your taxi's here. But my fucking, uh, service is going in and out. And I'm like, what do you what do you mean that the taxi's here like i'm in the taxi and they're like wait who are you with and all this shit i can't talk to him yeah, on the yeah. phone because like we're out in the fucking middle of nowhere and yeah. this guy's fucking blasting this fucking indian like dunga, 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 song. like i have no idea what's going on canceled it, well dude all those fucking songs in there have that it's a great song i listen to it a lot and uh so we're going down the road and the guy's like call me now and i'm like i can't i don't have service I'm trying to talk to the guy, but apparently he does like he doesn't speak English and I don't speak Hindi, so like we can't really communicate. And I'm trying to talk to the guy, and finally I get some service, and I'm like, I like, what are you talking about? I'm here, and they're like, No, your taxi's there. That's not your taxi. So I started googling, like Google mapping, trying to tell the guy, I'm like, wrong person. He's like, Huh? I'm like, me, wrong person, and uh finally the guy calls him and they figure it out they picked up the wrong people but i definitely was in my fucking pants and then oh, they I were trying to, oh 100 percent. then they were trying to like make me get dropped off in this farm town and wait for my other taxi and shit. in and, india yeah shit. no and i was like nah dude i'm staying in this fucking taxi so finally i did get done and everything was fine but it uh, but through the, and that's not even the craziest story when I've been like international. So like the fact that shit like that does happen, I think that it's real, in my opinion. It could be. I mean, the movie, the movie definitely was fucking real by any means. 
Yeah. No, well, I, I, I mean, no. well, I, um, I like, do you guys remember the movie Hostel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, I remember I watched that movie before I actually went on a backpacking trip with like five, six of my friends. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we watched that movie before, uh, like, but it is like you, you see, you watch a movie like that and it's like, and, and you hear stories about it and it just, yeah, it does. It just like, it freaks the shit out of you, man. Cause oh, I yeah. mean, cause it can happen. I mean, there's crazy ass fucking people out there. Well, and honestly, that's what makes some of the scarier stuff is what it's things like that, that can like happen in real life. Cause especially yeah. with hospitals and shit where you're just fucking staying with a bunch of people you don't know. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you, I mean, I I mean, you could say it for anywhere, but I mean, you know, especially in some of those hostels, you know, you're paying 10, 20, you know, it's like you're, hey, you you know, you're hanging out with some squirrely or you're interesting people to put it kindly. 100%, dude. But yeah, I mean, shit, crazy shit happens international, especially if that dude was on like a, a fucking trip in Russia early 2000 before the internet and shit i could i could see something like happening but yeah. i'm sure he also embellished on some of the stories a little as well. bit yeah but the fucking movie was just over the top and not that yeah. good in my opinion <laughs> yeah but i don't love his stand-up in general if i'm being honest like i think um, first price is funny and podcast but i don't love his stand i i think I, well i i'm gonna have bring chris in on this because he's a big burt fan i I find his comedy to be funny, but I don't think he's, um, I don't think he's, I don't think he's great. I, l- let's bring on producer Chris. I think. Producer Chris. Yeah. I, producer Chris has a hard on for Bert. I like, I like Bert. He's definitely not, um, he's not in my top three of current comics. I'm, big stand-up comedy fan uh he's not my top three but i do like him i did just see him probably two or so month two or three months ago and his new material i i would say a lot funnier than some of the stuff i had previously seen so if you oh, haven't seen good. him recently his new special coming out whenever that may be it it the stuff i was seeing it was pretty good I have, so I have not seen him live. I mean, I've watched his Netflix special, so, um, I, I would definitely go see him live because just because I like seeing him, huh? Yeah. Well, I was just going to say he is funny. I just don't think his entire set are good where other comedians are. Cause I saw him when he did, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that fully loaded tour in Atlanta and I saw it and like, it was good, but I think the other comics that were there, cause like. Dude, Shane Gillis was there. Mark Norman was there. Brian Simpson was there. Uh, what's the chick's name? Um, um, Nikki Glazer. Oh, Nikki Glazer. Oh, she's a killer. Yeah, yeah. Had fucking bangers after bangers. So I think that's probably what did it for me. Now, but when I he also, does the machine, that shit pops. Yeah. I mean, the machine is like when you see your favorite band of all time play and they come back out for an encore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like I mean, you're yeah, watching a band that's been he, around forever. He gets, and one of the, he gets some of the biggest pops when he does that and then when he first comes out and takes his shirt off. Whether you oh, like 100. it or not, oh, the, yeah, yeah. the pop itself is probably one of the biggest in comedy just in yeah. that. Especially with the shirt off. Because actually yeah. in that uh, fully loaded tour, uh, Nikki Glazer came out with her shirt off, and all she yeah, had on that was, was actually off. that was funny, and I can't believe that she got shit for that. Like, well, she didn't get was, shit for it. People just said laugh. So she felt like like halfway through, she felt conscious, the self conscious, and put her shirt back on. Yeah, and I was uh, like, this is a weird bit, dude. <laughs> well, that, I mean, I guess you could say it was a weird bit, but I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I guess if you're like big in the comedy scene or whatever like you should know what what she's referencing or whatever no oh yeah well i mean everybody knew what she was doing like she said she did it for Bert. yeah yeah i just i think she expected them to like go crazy like they do for Bert. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
All right. Uh, you hear so, Bobby's just not as nice as Burst, dude. You know? It's not, dude. I mean, he's a voluptuous I mean, man. I mean, I mean, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, Nikki Glazer is definitely, I, I find Nikki Glazer attractive. Do you guys not? She's a female, Keith. Of course you find oh. her attractive. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't think she's a story. Unattractive. You find that's men. It, you, that's a, that's you, a, hey, Keith likes all sexes, actually. So all the sex. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. Uh, I, I told did, us that I did in the gym that. one day. Yeah, I, mistakenly. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Was Mistake. it? Fuck, fuck you, fuck you guys. <laughs> all right, all right. Sh- fuck, shifting fuck, gears. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, guy. fuck you guys. What uh, are we producer shifting Chris. gears to? Who's who? Fuck your fuck you. He's- Producer Chris, who's your top three comics right now? Keystro. Well, he f- fucking spilled half Not of yet. it on his pants, so I, I don't know, know how he is. But... Uh, uh, top story. three. I'm going to leak into his puss. <laughs> That's how uh, that yeah, happen, obviously, right? Shane Gillis has to be in there. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, Andrew, Sh- Andrew Schultz, for sure. Mm. Yeah, he's funny. Um, yeah. Honestly, I it, he's a little bit weird sense of comedy, but I love Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee's so Oh yeah, funny. Bobby Lee's Bobby very, Lee's funny, yeah, but I don't think I've heard of him. I've liked Bobby Lee since Mad TV, dude. Yeah, he was good at Mad TV. I've liked that dude for thirty years. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby Damn. Yeah, Bob, Bobby, yeah. I haven't thought about Mad TV in forever. Yeah, though. wow. We j- we just dated the fuck out of ourselves. Chris, we like Bobby Lee for your ass was born, my guy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I believe it. But he <laughs> and uh, Santino's podcast together, Bad Friends. Yeah, it's, Andrew Santino. He, yeah, that's yeah, he's yeah. easily one of my favorites. No, I like it, man. I I agree with you. I think Shane Gillis is probably my number one. Yeah, because we're talking about new comics too, right? That was your list of the your top new. You say comics. new comics? I think is just uh, Any current. Comics, no, no, I just said or yeah, I guess you can say top. Top three current comics. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Fuck me. Oh, I think we lost P. Talk. What happened, dude? Oh, uh, we, we lost. uh, uh, we, oh, uh, we lost P.